concerning every condition and in every condition. Worship God in peace. The deacon proclaims with a loud voice, Worship God in fear and trembling. This is to prepare us for the most holy moment. That is the invocation of the Holy Spirit, to change the bread, into the true body of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the wine, into the true blood of His. Let us attend. And His bread He makes into His holy body. Also into the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe of Abu Nu proclaims that this is given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who shall partake of him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Now the bread did become the holy body of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the wine is his honor, blood. From this moment, the priest will not make the sign of the cross upon them by his hand. The signing of both of them shall be through them. Also, the priest will not leave the altar until the end of the holy liturgy. The priest will pray the seven short litanies or prayers. They are the prayer of the peace of the church to keep the church in peace. An apostolic word to the church. Lord have mercy. This which you have acquired unto yourself in the precious blood of your Christ. Keep the prayer of the fathers of the church, to keep the pope and the bishops. For most remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Irish Bishop, our Patriarch Abba Shenouda the Third. Lord have mercy. And those who rightly define the word of truth with him grant. The prayer of the priests and deacons to pastor the flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemon's priest and The prayer of the servants, the Lord may have mercy on us all. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator. Remember, O Lord, the safety of his holy plate, which is yours. The prayer of the place for the salvation of the whole world. Orthodox fathers, Lord have mercy. And those who dwell there in God's faith, gracious upward, O Lord, the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the water of the rivers. The prayer of the plants and water to bless all our life. Lord have mercy. According to your grace, give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows and abundantly watered, and its fruits be plentiful, prepared for sowing and harvest. Manage our life as deemed fit. Plant the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of our soul, who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us 
according to your goodness. O you who give food to all flesh, fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Remember, O Lord, those have brought unto you this gift. And finally, the prayer of the oblations, that is the offerings of the liturgy in the church. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifice, and those who have borne. Oh, them. Lord, have mercy. And this, O oh Lord, is the command of your only begotten Son. Abuna will pray the commemoration of the saints. We mention them as they conquered the whole world, and waiting and helping us to join them in the heaven and they are attending the Holy Liturgy with us. We ask their prayers and intercessions. Our Holy Father, the Patriarchs, the Prophets, the Apostles, the Preachers, the Evangelists, the Martyrs, the Confessors, and all the Spirit of the Rights, who consummated in the faith most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theodorus, Saint Mary, who in truth give birth to God, the Lord of God, Saint John, the Baptist and Martyr, Saint Stephen, the Archdeacon, the Proto-Martyr, the Beholder of God, Saint Mark, the Evangelist, the Apostle and Martyr, the Patriarchs and Saviors, our Teacher, the Scourge, the Athanasius, the Apostolic, then Peter, the Proist, Martyr, and the High Priest, Saint John, Christum, then Theodosius, then Theophilus, then Demetrius, then Cyril, then Babel, then Gregory the Theologian, then Gregory the Wonder Worker, then Gregory the Honor Making, then the 318 Assembly, then Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, our righteous Father, the great Abantini. The righteous Abba Paul, and the three sin of Mary, and all their children that cross and bear Our father of John the Hegelman, our father of Abishui, the righteous perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our father of Paul of Jammu, and in the gill is this apple. My master, the Romans' fathers, St. Maximus and Megis, and the forty-nine murder, the elders of Shehe, the strong sin of Moses, John Cam, the priest, our father of Daniel, the human, our father of Ithidur, the priest, our father of Abacum, of the Canadian Theodore is the son of a people. Our father of a Shinoda, the Archimen Bright, and of a Wisa is the son of a people. And all the choir of your saints, through whose prayer and supplications, have mercy on us all and save us. For the sake of your holy name, which is the call of us.
Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. Oh, Abuna raises the incense in the center. All congregation ask for the holy blessings of all the saints, so that the Lord may have mercy upon us all. Abuna mentions the departed ones, who went into the heaven, and waiting for us to join them. Lord to guide us into his kingdom, so we may follow all the saints to the eternal life. Glorified, blessed, and exalted everything, honored and blessed together with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. Abuna bows and moves little to the side as giving the pieces from our Lord Jesus Christ whose body and blood are on the altar. Let us give a thanks unto God the Pentecostal, the Father. Abuna gives thanks to the Lord on our behalf, as he allowed us to stand up in his holy church. He asks the Lord to make us worthy of the communion. up in this holy place to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name, let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. Abuna places the holy body on the palm of his left hand. He touches the holy body, with his right index finger near the despoticon, and says with fear, We worship your holy body. Abuna dips his right index finger, in the precious blood, and makes the sign of the cross, inside the chalice. 
Abuna makes the sign of the cross, on the holy body, with the precious blood. This is in reference to the honored blood, that flew from the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, during his crucifixion. Abuna begins to break the holy body, while he is saying the fraction prayer. During the fraction prayer, Abuna meditates on the salvation and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. With the whole their heart, who has given to us redemption from sin through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, the life of everyone, the help of those who flee to him, the hope of those The deacons hold lit candles, as the priest breaks the body of Christ to be given to the faithful people. Breaking the body of our Savior refers to the sufferings of our Lord. congregation ask the Lord and say, Kyrie Eleison, Lord have mercy, after each prayer. This is to offer our repentance, and ask Him for the forgiveness of our sins, before partaking of the communion. and all the innumerable hosts of the heavenly powers, O God, who has sanctified these gifts, which are set forth through the coming on upon them of your Holy Spirit. You have purified them, purify us also, our Master, from our sins, the hidden and manifest, and every thought which is not leading to your goodness, God, you have an anthropic one, May it be far from us. Abuna asks the Lord to purify us and prepare us to be worthy of the partaking of the holy and true body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord have mercy. Purify our souls. Our bodies, our spirits, our hearts, our eyes, our understanding, our thoughts, and our consciences, so that with a pure heart, an enlightened soul, and an ashamed face, a faith and faith, a perfect love, and a firm hope, we may dare with boldness, without fear, to pray to you, O God, the Holy Father who art in heaven, and say, Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
Buddha prays a submission prayer to God the Father, while everybody is worshipping the Lord, submitting our life to Him. Abuna mentions everyone who is in need of prayers. Let us attend in the fear of God. Amen. Abuna prays the three litanies of the peace of the church, of the fathers, and of the congregation 